All right, video for pivot holder. Let's start out with sketch one. Uh, basically, what I have is a four inch by four inch square with a three inch hole, same center lines. And I started right on the origin, and you can see where I centered everything up. So get a square and one circle, finish sketch, and then what you're going to do is just go up to extrude and extrude it one inch. Okay? Then what I did, edit sketch, I just drew a three quarter high by two inch long rectangle and extruded it back the thickness of this part, which is one inch. Okay? Then I went over, did the same thing here, one inch. And this one, you have to go from the top of the other s extrusion, so it's going to be two and three quarter by one. So get it, and then extrude it three quarters right there. Okay. Then I went back to the, my top view. Let me just show you. Kind of like that. And I drew a I just went to circle and project. Well first I projected geometry of the top. Went to circle. Found the center and just went out to the edge and extrude it down. Come over here do the same thing, draw the other one and extrude it down. And the last thing you're going to do is go back and use the same center line here and put a half inch diameter circle here and extrude it down. And the book really doesn't tell you, but what I did, I just extruded it to the top of this surface and extruded that hole, the other hole down to the top of the other. So draw another half inch circle there and just extrude it down three quarters of an inch, both of those. And that's pretty much all you have to do with it. Let me just give you an idea what I'm looking for on the drawing. Bring them in this view in first and I think I used maybe one and a quarter scale let me see edit view yep one and a quarter drop those three in and your isometric drawing place those dimensions on it and give me a material your name and exercise 5.1